the first couple of games you might feel, oh, okay, I mean, then like over time, you're like, damn, it's just this time. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like it was just destruction. They do have a good feel for how each other play. Sword is going at it on PS2. Gotta love it. Um, I'm not sure what to expect because I don't see this matchup <laughs> at all. I feel like Violet has to get really creative in terms of like finding an opening, even with their reach. There's just so many things that Link has to get. They get to get to. There's a good one. Yeah, those buffs really helped with that because uh, that wasn't really a, a good thing before. But uh, you're, you're right, like Link can kind of like zone Violet out. Even when he doesn't, like Link has the ability to just like use Nair, which is in my opinion more just than his sword. Yes. So. Oh my god, that was just perfect. One, one thing I've noticed about the here's Link is that he survived ridiculously long too. Like you gotta really fucking kill him. You gotta get his recovery, spike him. But he'll live forever with his bomb recoveries. Oh yeah, I mean like you start playing this game long enough and as Yuki gets the kill there with there. And that's the third time he's landed on it. Yeah that was that was a good kill right there. That's how you gotta do it. You know the thing is that like they buff Violence there to where like, it basically breaks shields out. Like, it does a lot of shield pressure. So you have to kind of respect that, but like because of that, like sometimes you have to let go of shield earlier than you want to. Right? Just take the hit, maybe. If you can. And that was the, the most recent patch they did that? Uh, or no, no, this is a couple patches yeah, ago. Yeah, right. I just don't ever really play against too many Violet players, but I'd love to see some offline. I still really didn't feel like it fixed a lot of like violent support issues, but regardless, it still wasn't a, you know, a bump. So, you gotta take what you get these days. Take what you get, yeah, absolutely. There's some characters, they just get a nerf. <laughs> right? And, uh, right now, uh, hella close game. Oh yeah, it's a close game. Uh, going back and forth, honestly. What I know from both of these players is that they both are really doing well at a ledge trap for each other. They're having a hard time both getting up from ledge. Yeah, and they're fighting tooth and nail for the neutral game. They are both facing each other out and trying not to make any mistakes. My man, I I love it what I'm seeing from Yuki, though, because, like, uh, if I was a character, I kind of just rolling off. It's like, man, this character takes way too much execution to, like, get stuff in and like outside of there. The spacing has to be so good and it's, it's got to be like a mix-up game. Ooh, I love that. And I was playing against him earlier and even when I parried him, I couldn't punish him. It's like, what do you do? Violet's range when it's space right, you can't even parry and punish. You just got to get away. Well, Violet is the uh, distant demon. Yeah, Sakurai said. That's right. And yeah, we see the ledge trap right here and like, Link is just really good at that in general. Ooh, I oh, love the... Nice. Uh, the last time right there. You didn't get it, but like yeah. the whole idea is to like, hey, make sure they pick an option. Like, see, like, don't hang out. Yeah, and, and Zahir does that a lot. He was trying to get to me all day, but it, it does keep a lot of pressure on you. You got to pick something. You got to pick a button real fast. Right. It, it's good conditioning because yeah, regardless if you get it or not, it's in the back of your mind like, oh, he's gonna go for this. I gotta hurry up and pick an option. Yeah, he's so. gonna read your option and he's gonna wait for it later. So if you like to roll in, he's gonna remember that. Oh, nice back there. And we're at even stocks. Last stock right now. So it's a competitive game, which is what you love to see. Yeah. I feel like both players are also not overextended. They're just getting what like, they know that they can get. And they're just kind of resetting these. They're taking what they can get, absolutely. Nice spot dodge. Got a lot off of that. Oh, no! Ooh. Uncharacteristic death right there. see that. I'm not sure if he uh, used his jump when he was uh, yeah. combo right there, or if he just passed ball. That was um, definitely surprising. I, I, I've seen him play so many casuals, I haven't seen anything like that from him all, all day. But hey, that's what brackets for, you gotta get those nerves out. Round one, over. Well, uh, here's been in this situation before, oh, yeah, for so sure. he's gonna take that off. Uh, yep. I feel like you gotta get that first match out of the way, be like, alright, whatever. I grew up skateboarding, it's kind of like you eat shit real fast, and then you're like, alright, work, I can keep skating now, it's fine. I woke up. So, I 
feel like, uh, honestly, there doesn't really need to be. Uh, so they switched to small battlefield, which you know a lot of people are just gonna say that's another PS2, but uh, really, uh, there doesn't need to be a lot of change because both, both of the uh, before the SD, both of them are like pretty even. Yeah. I'm interested to see what adjustments they make. And that was actually good DI right there. Yeah. Like, uh, he knows he goes for that uh, dare spike after doing that, so he makes sure to DI. So like, uh, which is a scary thing. Is like you gotta know exactly where to DI. Yeah. 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 Because he could, he could go for the side B, he could go for the back air, but he's been opting for the dare after doing the up B conversion. So, uh, so here's just a nasty kill. Okay, uh, I know we put the DI in there. So. Very smart stuff. Nice kill. Uh, return boomerang into fair. Yeah, so here's punish game is incredible. Yeah, if you, if you play the link, you have to be in the game. Oh yeah, and you gotta earn those kills for sure. To go for the off stage. Yep, yeah. these guys are both willing to go low for it. Not now, you're trying to get a the kill because uh, yep. you don't want to go too far into stock and not be able to uh, get a kill. Yeah, and this bio is doing a really good job of, of keeping Nair out of the equation, you know. He's keeping him spaced out and he's not letting him use his Nair like the way he wants to. Yeah, there's not really anything we can do about the microphone. We're in a noisy arcade, so all kind of background music, background chatter and stuff. Uh, you can't really set it up like you do at like, you know, a quiet venue or something like that. So you kind of just got to bear with it, man. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of people here. Yep. To, uh, four, four, so. You got to get the sound check on check. Oh, nice recovery. That's that bomb recovery again. So clutch with it. Yeah, that's pretty essential to yeah. playing Link at a high level. You gotta be able to. You gotta do it for sure. But sometimes the LP just isn't enough. You know, you don't want to get gifts to you. Yeah. And there's really no risk while doing it either because, like, he's already at kill percentage. What else is he gonna really do? If Violet's hit, if he gets hit by pretty much any major hit by Violet, he's gonna die. So yeah, there really is no risk. Yeah, right here we. This is what I was talking about the the hero thing where like he just plays better Another over the set, so he really does. That's how you know uh, when you're playing against a top level player. Yep, you gotta download first. Try to go for the uh, the up reverse oh. right there. Ooh, the DI mixed up in it. Three stock. That was but that's pretty what, convincing right there. And that's also what I'm saying is that here he's at 150. Still alive, not even an issue. I got him to 200 earlier. Wouldn't die. Yeah, see, this is why you know, like, you don't allow yourself to get rattled because, like, you know, I know a lot of players. Like, what, after what happened at the end of game one, it's just like oh, I should have, you know, won that, you know, like, get it out your head. That game's over. You gotta move past it. And, like, the here went from that to three stalking. Like, that's a pretty, you know, level headed player right now. Absolutely, winner's mentality. And they both have a game off, so they Don't both know I can do this. I can win this. We're seeing a switch here to the Lucina. I've seen his Marth. His Marth is on point, and I'm sure he's not really feeling like, you know, he's not used to the buffs that they just made if they're substantial. Lucina's got to be the more consistent choice. Yeah, if you want consistency and comfort, Lucina's definitely uh, the pick in her Marth. Uh, also, staying changed to uh, FD. Uh, it's kind of curious, honestly, because uh, I feel like Link does really well here against the Snatcher. Yeah, I was going to say, like, it's probably hard for Lucina to even, like, get in. You have to worry about, like, all the uh, boomerangs and uh, bombs and even Link himself just throwing out stuff. Like, I feel like it's only going to harder to get in. I totally agree. We'll, we'll see how he, uh, you know, he's going to be very patient here. That was a good patient recovery. Oh, no. He did everything pretty much right there. It's just like, you know, the ledge trap. Yeah, see, and that might go back to, like, being less from all those other times. Uh, he just hit the opposite. Great point, you're right. All those ledge trumps really got him to where he picked something so fast because he knew it could happen. 
still not out. It's still anyone's game. Uh, yeah, my fault, y'all. Yes, yeah, so, like I got some projects in the shop I have to take care of first as far as like where the finances are going to. Um, I got to get some more vinyl crap on the setup so people know what station they're on at the center tables that I don't have yet. Believe it or not, like that shit's expensive. And then um, more games and DLC, obviously. All, the experience in shop is always going to take priority than like the stream because the players coming here paying the venue fee is what generates the revenue. But I, I got y'all in the back of my mind. I'm still got long-term plans to get like better equipment for the stream and everything. Uh, so, you know, hopefully it won't be too much longer, but appreciate y'all, you know, sticking it out with us. Yo, if y'all want that, that uh, better equipment, y'all can donate. Explanation point, donate. Valid point. Better equipment costs money. Right now, the here is looking really strong here. Again, at 200%, finally dies. Yeah, uh... Link, this is Link, this isn't Bowser. What is he doing at 200%? I, I just really feel that, like, he's having a hard time getting in the neutral and then, like... Uh, the conditioning from all the other sets have gotten to come to the point where like he's being less trapped really hard. Oh wow, okay. He missed the ledge. That was a really nice grab there off the tech read. The tech read. Yeah. It doesn't seem like a lot, but like if you see all these interactions, like he's having to maneuver way too much around like boomerang. Absolutely, man. It, it, it seems frustrating. It, it's really hard to keep your composure when you're always having to like think about all the options. Ooh. Excellent up the That was a good field. that was a good cancel on the uh S mask because the S mask has two hits. GG. Very creative right there, man. Uh, that was pretty solid uh, link play right there. If you're trying to play link, uh there you go. That was I, I'm so